Philly. Your boy hates me like the source Harry Panero. Yes, and right now we are in the waters. Woo! At St. George's Park. I'm very, very excited. We're going to be taking on an England quiz. So I've got some questions lined up. Harry has some questions lined up. The game is simple. Ooh. If you get an answer wrong, then that means you have to do a forfeit. Harry, what is the forfeit? The forfeit is you to come out of this amazingly hot boozy, walk into this ice cold bit of water, walk around, and then come back in there. Just so you guys can understand, this is 36 degrees. Yes. And that is? 10 degrees. 10 degrees. Yeah. Is that right? So, you need to understand the fact that we're in the warmth right now, the minute we go into the cold waters, our bodies are going to be in freezing water. I was going to say shock, but that is all right too. Yes. Yeah, okay, we've got it. Let's start. <laughs> World Cup final. Germany. No, West Germany. That's the same thing. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. And it specifically says a West Germany. Don't you didn't give me, you didn't it, give me the, you bro, didn't give me the what does it say? Don't accept Germany on its own. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on, HP. Nice and strong. Long strides, mate. Long strides. It's just happening to me. It's free, it feels like frostbite on my leg. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you you're not getting this right. I promise you. You, you. you might as well just get out now. So guys, are you guys ready for this one? Jeff Hurst famously scored a hat-trick in the World Cup final. Who scored England's other goal that game? Gary Lucas! <laughs> get your ass out. It's Martin Peters. <laughs> I was a G. Oh it's a, it's a my fraud. gosh! It feels like someone's doing that all over my legs. Let's is go. that normal? Chris, is that normal? Let's Imagine go. we didn't have go. socks on. Let's go, let's go. Let's keep the ball wow. rolling. I hope this is an easy question. Who's done all the questions? Who? Our research. Our researcher. Who was the manager in that final? This question is linked to my last one. So, the first one was, of course, who did England beat in the 1966 World Cup final? You said Jeremy Yarson. Okay, that gives me a bit of faith. Go on, brother. You look so angry. I stubbed my toe. Oh, oh, that is pain. And it's frozen. JC, big up yourself with these questions because he's going in the water again. So the question is, guys, who was the England captain that lifted the Jules Remick trophy? Uh, if I give you the year, does he have to do an extra two goals? There's no year, it's just a question and answer. Yeah, but I know the year. Go on. 2004. No, no, wait. what's the question again? Let me take this serious. Who was the England captain that lifted the Jules Rimmett trophy? Jules Remain. Jules Remain. See, I knew, I, now I know. Now that you said that, Gerard. How the hell did you not get that right? Get your ass! <laughs> <laughs> the answer actually was Bobby Moore. Uh, da, da, da. Have we got? There's a lot. Nah, man, because we're not going to get one right, though. No, we are, we are, we are. We have to believe in ourselves, Philly. Look, mind over mind. Use your brain. Let's go. Mind over mind. Hello, Harry. 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 Hello, 
No, JC. No, JC. Why? No. Why? 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 So, this question is linked to the first and the second one. Who was the goalkeeper for England on that day? Get up. No. <laughs> no. Get up. Peter Shilton. Get up, man. I told you to get up. It's Gordon Banks. Get up. Gordon Banks, isn't it? you got to swim now. You can tell me what to do for my next one. I want you to swim in this one. Yeah, trust me. Ooh, that helps. So, if you didn't know, guys, the exercise he's doing actually exercise keeps you warm yeah, yeah. in cold water. So now he won't feel absolutely, look, he's not feeling absolutely anything. I'm never doing that again. I told you. This is horrible, horrible. This is not an act. We're not over exaggerating. The water is that cold. Just so everybody at home knows, no one's got one right at the moment. Nobody at all. Bro, my hand hurts, it's burning. I know. It's okay, good. one team supplied the most players in that England team. Which team was it? But is that linked to the, all the last yes, question? What was your first question again? Um, go, should... back, go back and check it. No, because I told you, don't do that. Okay. You weren't going to tell me, you see that. Who was the, who was the England you. captain that lifted the Jules Vimé trophy? Alright, cool. Okay, one wait, team... Wait, 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 man, wait. What? Do you know what I just realised? Yeah. You know what I helped him on this one? Yeah. I at least told him the answer when he got it wrong. He didn't tell me who lifted that damn trophy. I told you it's Bobby Moore. I said to you it's Bobby Moore. You didn't. Bro, bro, I didn't bro, say bro, Bobby Moore. Bro. I said it, bro. I know you lot didn't hear that. Okay, guys. If I, did, if I didn't ask him, Philly owes me 100 quid. Oh, so it actually was Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore. Uh, if, if the camera shows that I didn't acknowledge it, make sure I edit on you. If I've heard it and it looks like I've heard it, put it in the end. All right. You ready? I'll give you £100, no problem. One team supplied the most players in that England team. Which team was it? United. Get your ass. It was, it was West Ham with four players. Bobby Moore, Martin Peters, George Cohen and Jeff Hurst. So I'm sorry, Philly. Get your ass back in there. You are losing! Oh, my God. Philly, don't swim. I'm telling you now, don't swim. It doesn't make no sense. It just gets worse every time you go down. Yeah, it doesn't get better. JC, can I ask you a question? Why are the questions so old? Why? You're stitching us up. We're being stitched, guys. Now, to be fair, he said something very key just there. What? Biggest moments in England's history. We ain't had a lot. <laughs> very true. We ain't had a lot of big men moments. True. What year was the last time a men's European tournament was held in England? What 19, year? 1996. Incorrect, 1995. Get up! Wait, Euro '96 was was in England, was it? Yeah, it was. Well, it's not here, bro. Let it's me not. let me see that. Let me see it. Huh? Let me see it. No, I didn't get to see yours. I promise you, I'll tell you right now. Show me it then. We're not getting stitched out. I'm, 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 not, allowed, I'm not allowing that. All right. Let me see that. I'm that showing you your question. You that's not your last question. You're that me. was my last question. Bro, get bro. Out, I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out because it is Euro '96. I'm not going <laughs> Thank you very much, Philly. Now it's my question! Hey, but let, guys, let me tell you why that's unfair. I was born in 1995. The year after, they held the tournament. Yeah. How am I meant to know at one years old? You should get this answer. Promise. You should, you should. Promise, yeah? Because it's someone who you know, all right? In regards to that tournament, who what won tournament? Euro 96? Who won the golden shoe in that tournament? Bro, think of it. Don't give up. Well, Andy, was that your hero? Oh, yeah. that Say the name. Say the name. You got one. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, Alan oh. Shearer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shearer. We are with you. Ah! Oh my God, he had a So it's one nil to Harry, guys. You got that. One nil to Harry. Ah! One, one. one nil, you bloody chicken nugget. About one one. <laughs> one nil. Oh my god. You see that in there? Oh my god. I never saw promise JC. I promise I never saw it. Right, who was the manager for that tournament? A. Terry Venables. 
No. B, Graham Taylor. No. C, Glenn Hoodley. Glenn Hoddle. 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 Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle. The answer is Glenn Hoddle! That is incorrect, my friend. It was Terry. Wow. I it's too cold in here. Don't you look too cold in here now? Oh. oh. I think I'm gonna get the money off. So what you so what you do so what you do now, yeah? No, no, no. See, he's a snake. But watch what the smile does, he'll give me. Oh! Swim, last one, swim. Ah! How is it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still losing 1 0. I don't know how many questions you've got. Sorry, bro, I got in your My brain is rattled right now. In regards to that tournament in 1996, what was the name of the official song for that tournament? I was born a year before that tournament. Bro, we was, the questions we had before, we weren't even born. We wasn't even a fort. The official song. National Anthem. He said National Anthem. Get your ass in there, bro. Get your ass in there. Three Lions on the train. Oh, we don't know it. Three Lions on the train. Football's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming. Where was you, bro? Where was you? That is a defeated man, guys. Philly's defeated. Think of all the people that's watching you right now. It's there, isn't it? That's where you feel it the most, isn't it? Yeah. Right there, right there. It's the last bit. So we're halfway through, guys. It's 1 0 to Harry Pinero. Philly, how confident do you feel like you're going to get a point? We made more appearances for England. Gerard Olampo. This is so tough. But I'm going with Steven Gerard. That is incorrect. The answer is Frank Lampard. No, let me see. Gerard is. <laughs> it's 2 0 to Harry Pinero! Okay, fullbacks. Now this is something you should get the answer to, okay? Who made more appearances? Ashley Cole or Gary Neville? Do you know what? Football's a mad sport. For me, Gary Neville was not the best player. For me, Ashley Cole was world class. But best ever fullback for England? You see the way football is? Yeah. I guarantee Neville got more appearances. Is that your final answer? No. Cole should be on 400,000. No. It hasn't been 400,000. I know, I'm game. just like, you get the point. I feel like it's Gary, man. But then Gary's dead, man. Like, you're a lovely person and that good pundit, but fuck you weren't my guy. So what are you going with, your guy or the guy? Actually, Cole, I'm going to actually Cole. He's better. And now, if Gary Neville has more, I'm so disappointed in football. No offence to Gary well, Neville, Philly, but Ashley Cole was amazing. Billy, I must say, you are correct. Thank you. Ashley Cole. Yes. It's 2-1. It's 2-1, Ashley guys. Cole, you was a baller. Do you make more appearance? Oh, no, that's so easy, though, man. Just do it, sir. Well done, Harry, man. 3-1 to Harry. We made more appearances. Joe Hart or Paul Robinson. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Man, locked. That, you're so unfair, JC, man. Joseph Hart. 3-1 to the champion. If, if Philly wins, we reverse that 100-pound bet. Oh, you two hundred 200 quid. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Nothing. 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 Okay, listen. 100 now, he wants 200 off me. Philly's making quite a lot of money, guys. If you haven't noticed already, he's everywhere. All right. Final appearance question, guys. Who's got more caps? Ledley King or Wes Brown? See, that one's tough again. Because I rated Ledley more. But Ledley always had the knee problems. And, and Brown never used to play that much. So I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to give you one clue. The wrong one. I it's very, very tight. There must be like a time, like. Ledley King. Sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, it's Wes Brown. I'm so sorry, What's the man. difference in numbers? Two. I told you it was tight. Very tight. Played for United, innit? So it's like, that helps. So if you don't mind, I think the, I think the route How is... How does that help? Because he plays for United. I mean, United, he was always in the, you know, England team. Where's Palace? Don't come over Where's Palace are? Wait, hold on, hold on. Where hold on. Palace are in the league where we're meant to be. Done. You can't tell me nothing. And guess what? I'm where I'm meant to be as well. And I'm sitting in the jacuzzi. So guys. Seven questions down, three to go. You can catch me. It's not gonna happen, but you can. My friend, please, end tidy blaze. But hey, 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 forfeit. When you get into the middle, you have to go down there for five seconds. Let's go. Ah. 
Life's so good when you're sitting in a jacuzzi. Let's go, let's go. Questions. Harry is up next. Okay, League One last partnership at Pompey. Spurs in England, but who scored more goals for their country? Crouch or Jermaine Defoe? Crouch. No. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm done with lying now. Go on. Go on, Crouch! Yeah. What's that? Four no, one. Surprisingly, though, I know everyone at home would be interested in this. Crouch, he scored 22 goals. Jermaine Defoe scored 20. Yeah, yeah. Do you Crouch. know how surprising that is though? No, Crouch, Jermaine Crouch Defoe scored, was a league finisher. Crouch a scored league. a lot of hat-tricks. He scored a lot of like two goals per game. It was a, it was a good Do you know what? Game. I was watching this thing the other day and it was like best goals of the decade. Do you remember that one he scored for Stoke? Yeah, and he got to say nothing more. Done, 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 done. Crazy one. Crazy Have you seen it as well, Chelsea? Outside of the boot. Oh, long, long day, long day, long day. Some of the um, best goals. Harry Pinero, top ins. Oh! And then the touch that he done with that Lucas Moura video, young Philippe. Yeah, young Philippe. Felipe. Here, if you click here, I'll yeah, the yeah. It's up there? Or there? Yeah, this is. Wait, I've just relapsed. There's no way of me coming back. Yeah. All right. They scored goals that took us to the World Cup in 2002, all right? In that game against Greece in the group stage. But who scored the most goals overall between Beckham and Teddy Sheridan? Oh, wait, that Beckham thing kit was dirty. Ugh. David Beckham. Correct. David Beckham scored 17 goals. Teddy Sheridan scored 11. Wow, amazing. So the score is currently 4-2 to HP. Two so questions, questions left. Very good for me. Yes, two questions left. So really, you need to get these two wrong. I need to get my two right. Yeah. Ooh. What year was you born? 1991. Ooh. Yeah. Who is the youngest player to ever score a World Cup for England? And you have to say the team as well. Because that team is here, and I'll show you the answer. I know I'm, I'm I'm bad at cheating, but it's here. It's between Owen and Rooney. And what team? Argentina for, for um, Owen. Who are you going to pick? Rooney was against... Actually, no, it can't be Rooney, because when Rooney was 18, he was at the Euros. Then he went to the World Cup. So it has to be Michael Owen, Liverpool. Do you know what, man? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! No, 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 no. I've got to give you all credit. This guy is, he, nah, you're gone. When it comes to football analysis, memory, picking something out from the histories, Harry has got that on smash. I've never, ever spoke to someone that puts it how he puts it across. Harry, you are a deeper guy. As you can see, it's 5-2 to Harry Pinero. There's no way you can win. Not on God's green earth. Not on any planet in the world. Dreams can't come true in this situation. However, the show must continue. And with that being said, who is the youngest goalkeeper to play for England at the World Cup? I'll give you one quick clue because it doesn't matter anymore. It dates up to now. Joe Hart. Paul Robinson. No, man. Julio Speroni. <laughs> but that's the, Do you know what? that's the point I'm at. Do you know what? Do you know what? For the simple fact that you can't win no more and I actually feel sorry for you, let's do it together. Wow. Okay, let's do it together, man. Promise. Let's not, let's not. Promise. Sight! Get your ass in that ball. You're not going to do it with me? Bro, no way. I'll, I'll be waiting for you when you land. <laughs> oh! Ladies and gentlemen, up next, representing England in the Derby 2019, we have HP and Jan This, my brother. Am I deeper? No. If you get this, hear what I'm saying. Yeah. You are the best mm. football analysis person, pundit I know. Which player has had the shortest England career? I'll give you a clue. For some reason. No, wait, wait. I'm going to give you a clue. It is very hard, Harry, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still plays now. I think that is a good clue. He's a young player. And had the shortest. Yeah. But he still plays now. 
Yeah, but not for England. Just for his club a lot. Just come back from injury as well. He, he's injury prone. I'll say Chamberlain. No, you don't, huh? You said he just come back from England. Yeah, England. but he just he played for England the other day, bro. What are you on about? He said he said the shortest. And he still plays now. Exactly. We so shortest to... meaning it's over. I don't. Is he still playing? He scored the other day. So who the f is play, allowed to play? Does not want to play? You know England? what, bro? I thought you know this, and I swear. Is, only because you know so much. Nathaniel Chaloba. Look, has technically played no official minutes for England because he came on. Why did you mention that then? Why did you say that in the brief? What? I, bro, I said. I didn't write the flip. What are you shouting at me? So why didn't you say it to me? I bro? didn't write the question, bro. You didn't read the full question to uh, me, bro. It stops with tricky one. What else do you want me to mate, say? Mate, 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 mate. Look at that. You didn't mention none of this. Guys, this is what he's missed out. Uh, has technically played no official games for England because he came off injury time against Spain. I was at that game, so I saw him come off. I'm lying. But I could have been there. But, you know what? So, ladies and gentlemen, no, hate team, we are going to commence with the dive. Okay, no, that's not how you dive. Let me teach you how to dive, Harry. No, Everything no. has to be straight. Keep the legs straight, arms straight, belly tucked in, and then you flip and hit you. This question means absolutely nothing to you at all. How many England managers have there been overall? 15, 20, or 25? 15. Really? Why? I don't know, man. Just get anything, man. <laughs> it's actually 20. For you. What? No, no, I forgot how I go. No, 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 no. We're doing a special one because this is the last question. You got it wrong, as usual. You need to go around and then come back around again. Okay. That's your. So you go there, go there, and come back around. When you're ready, Philly. And there you have it, guys. Harry Pinero, Young Philly. Ice bath, the PT challenge. Harry Pinero is victorious. Subscribe! Swipe up, guys. Winners! Oh, body's so cold. See you later, guys. Ah. Wait for the camera.